Today we're going to graph systems of inequalities using GeoGebra. GeoGebra will shade the answers to an inequality. Let's start with something easy like y is less than or equal to 4. Compound means that I have more than one inequality, so let's try x is greater than or equal to 3. So there are two different colors that are being shown. There's kind of a lighter purple that's showing the numbers less than or equal to y equals 4, so under the horizontal line. And then I have a darker kind of purple where I can see the two things went together. So x greater than or equal to 3, also in a light purple, but then when the two purples overlap, it becomes darker. It's a little bit easier to see that if we turn off the originals and tell GeoGebra to do both at the same time. So notice y less than or equal to 4 says a, so let's put in a, and then I'm going to put in and. So do you see how I put the and? Well, when you hit it twice, it turns into a logical and, so that tells GeoGebra to do the math to do both together, and then I'm going to type b, and then just the part that satisfies both of the inequalities, so y being less than or equal to 4 and being greater than or equal to 3 for x is what's shaded. So this is a nice way to do the double inequality where I don't see anything extra shaded. I only have the answer to the compound inequality. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's try y is less than or equal to, um, let's do x squared minus 4. And then let's put in a line. So let's try y is greater than, and watch what happens when I do just greater than, not greater than or equal to. You'll see a little difference in the um, way it puts the graph. So let's try like 2x plus 3. Notice there's a dashed line for the strict inequality of greater than. So when it says less than or equal to, I can see a solid line around the parabola. And here where it says strictly greater than, I see a dashed line. Again, I want to see both of these at the same time. So when I push enter, you'll notice B comes up. So I have an A and a B. So let's again type A. I hit and twice and then B. I wanted you to see I could have left A and B turned on, so there's the other shading. Let's unclick them, which turns them off, and then this kind of magenta color is where both inequalities are satisfied at the same time. So I want to show you one more. This one may made a little bit bigger, and I already typed it all out, but I will just click it on to show you each piece. So I'm starting with 2x squared plus 4y squared is less than or equal to 16. Then I put in the line x plus y, but I made it greater than 1. And notice I didn't have to put it in slope-intercept form. I just put it in exactly as I had it, x plus y greater than 1. x is less than or equal to 2. And then finally, y is greater than or equal to x minus 1. All right, so we have these four overlapping sections. Finally, I put them all together. I said a, b, c, d, and um, we could kind of click it so you can see that kind of in action. So watch, here's A, and then I type and, there's B, I type and, C, and then D. So you can see each piece come on, and then when I go ahead and click the other pieces off, that's when we see our answer. So GeoGebra makes the system of multiple inequalities really easy to look at, and it's nice to be able to click off all the other ones and only show the final solution, which is the compound inequality.